let's get started with 5 hidden tips for ArcGIS Pro that will make your life easier. Turning layers on and off in table of content. In the good old days, ArcMap had a right click option to turn the layers on and off. But for some reason, AJ didn't include the convenient right click turn on and off option in Pro. Sure, you can always turn layer on and off one by one. But if you are looking for a workaround, you are in luck. All you need to do is just select the layers that you want to turn on or off and hit space bar. Select all the layers and hit space. That's right, that's the secret recipe. Let's move on to tip number two. Say you selected a feature while working in a map view and went on to work on a different geography. Now to get back to that feature that you selected, you would have to go to the attribute table. Find the selected feature. Right click and zoom to layer. Too much of work. Now here is a hidden way to work smarter. There is a selected feature dialog in the lower right corner of ArcGIS Pro that shows the number of features being selected in the map view. And it is actually a button. Use it to quickly zoom to selected features in the map. Tip number 3. Pro has a nice way of visualizing the statistics. Go to attribute table, right click the data column you are interested in and hit statistics. The charts properties can be changed using the chart properties pane on the right side of the map view. But here is the best part. This categorical bar charts can be used to interactively select features as opposed to writing numerous queries. Tip number four. Say you have multiple views in ArcGIS Pro Views are similar to tabs in modern browsers. You can interact with them, you can talk them on left, right, top, bottom of the screen and also to a different screen if that's what you want. In Pro, you also have the ability to talk and view two views or more than two views side by side. Not only that, if your workflow calls for visualizing the same geography from different angles, dimension or overlay, you can link the views together. View linking is a navigation experience and can be used for multiple maps, scenes or a mix of 2D and 3D views. To end the link view session, just go to the view ribbon and click on the link view tab once again. Tip number 5 Many a times when you are about to add data from external sources to Pro, you might want to get a sneak view of what the data looks like. Well, the preview pane in Pro does just that. This had been a feature of Windows and Mac computer for some time, but it's a welcome feature in ArcGIS Pro 2. Now because you guys stay with us for so long, here's a bonus tip. For those
those of you working in development environment like Visual Studio and PyCharm, this is not new. But ArcGIS Pro now supports a dark theme which many would appreciate. For this, go to the options and go to general and where it says theme, go to dark. Now when you restart the ArcGIS Pro, you will be greeted with cool dark theme. Dark theme is believed to minimize eye strain when working in dimly lit spaces. There you go. Those were the 5 ArcGIS Pro tips that might make your life easier. If you are already getting your feet wet with ArcGIS Pro or getting ready to jump into the Pro bandwagon, these tips might come very handy. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more GIS tricks and tips. Thank you.